Hi friends, thank you for allowing me to share this daily dose for Thursday, April 16th. Uh, I'm feeling pretty relieved today that I finished my taxes yesterday on April 15th. No reason to send them in early, um, although we did get an extension <laughs> this year. But I was reminded of the old joke that, that there are only two things that are sure in life, and that's death and taxes. <laughs> and as humorous as some of us uh, find that, it's not true. Uh, the true statement is the only thing sure in life is death and resurrection. And we celebrated the ultimate example of the resurrection in the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ on this past Easter Sunday. But I was reminded that there seems to be a principle of the resurrection, some, some rule of the resurrection. In 1 Corinthians 15, Paul writes this, that if there is no resurrection of the dead, then Christ has not been raised. If there is no resurrection of the dead, then Christ has not been raised. Paul writes it and states it as though there is a principle of the resurrection. There is a rule of the resurrection, and it reminds us that resurrection is the very nature of God. One has to look no further than out the window of my office to see that, that spring has, has come and, and the earth is coming to life after a season of death and dormancy. And this is good news in this season of the resurrection, that God is making all things new. In the Revelation of St. John, in the 21st chapter, John describes this, this new creation. And he says, I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them. They will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more. For the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. This is good news for us. If anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Grace and peace to you.